This video is sponsored by Elgato Gaming. If you guys want to see how we record our gameplay and all the other equipment that we use, then you can click the link in the description box down below to check out more. Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Lost Ark. And today I want to talk about the Sorceress because just yesterday the team announced that the Sorceress is now part of the Western class lineup. Now this is incredibly exciting because the Sorceress is a brand new class that was only just added to the Korean version of the game. So honestly, I thought this was going to be one of the last classes that we saw over in the West. But in actual fact, she's now part of the launch lineup. She does replace another caster class, which we'll speak about in a moment. But this is still super exciting because the Sorceress is a fantastic looking class, has some very awesome looking abilities. So in this video, I want to quickly go over those details so you guys know what to expect. So if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Let me know in the comments down below. Is this going to change who you're starting as? Are you now going to play as a Sorceress? Can we just have a moment of silence for the Destroyer? I mean, look, right, I'm excited for Sorceress, but where's my Destroyer? Like, please. Anyway, that aside, don't forget to subscribe as well if you guys are enjoying Lost Ark, because we'll be covering this, of course, when the game launches. But to begin with, the blog post said, of course, as they move towards launch, they have an exciting announcement, and that is that the Sorceress will be available to players when the game launches early 2022. Now, it's important to note the Sorceress is going to replace the Summoner in the launch lineup. So admittedly, for any of you guys that played Summoner and perhaps really enjoyed that one, unfortunately, Summoner is no longer going to be part of the launch lineup. They didn't necessarily go into details here. I can only assume maybe they want to tweak it further, balance it, something like that. But the Sorceress is going to be in place of the Summoner. There's, of course, the little sort of cinematic in the background you can see of the Sorceress class. But to give you a few sort of top level summaries, we also have some gameplay in this from the sort of recent Korean dev diary to kind of showcase how this class plays out, plus some stuff from the official website. The Sorceress is firstly more kind of a traditional mage. If you think about more sort of Western RPGs, what you would kind of picture as like a witch or a wizard, that's kind of more so what you're getting with the Sorceress. She of course wields powerful magic based on three elements, fire, ice, and lightning, with spells that of course can deal area of effect damage. They can easily handle multiple enemies, helping them dominate the battlefield. And of course, that means the Sorceress has a lot of sort of casting and holding abilities, so that is going to factor into your playstyle. Now, talking about some of the skills they focused on the website, you have Incinerate, where you can drop Meteor Fragments from the sky to inflict damage on enemies. A giant pillar then raises from the target area, launching foes into the air and exploding to deal even more damage. You have Frost Explosion, where Frost bursts from the body, dealing damage and causing chill status, reducing attack and movement speed by 60%. You then have Ice Arrow, which fires Ice Arrows, piercing foes and dealing damage. This also grants chill status, slowing target's attack and movement speed by 60% for 6 seconds. And then you have Lightning Burst, where you fire lightning attack at enemies, and this grants the electrocution status, dealing additional damage. Now, on top of that, of course, taking a look at some of the Korean gameplay, keep in mind some of this stuff may well have changed. This was, of course, from the initial sort of dev diary stuff, but it's worth noting that the tripod system for the Sorceress basically allows you to change those different elements. So depending on, of course, you know, the element you select, it will not only change the behavior, but it will also change the visual effect of the abilities. And loosely speaking, Fire was kind of used like to break armor, ice is a good way to sort of CC, and lightning is good for stagger. A couple of other things as well worth mentioning, the sorceress has a mana shield where you can basically consume mana as like a second health pool, which is really useful because when you factor in like sorceress and just like casters in general, when you are casting abilities, kind of leaves you a bit vulnerable. So this is almost like a second health bar. You can basically sacrifice some mana as a means to firm some damage, basically. She also has a teleport skill as an identity skill. This is separate to her regular evasion skill, so you can still dodge roll. But teleportation, of course, allows you to zip around the battlefield. And she also has an attack damage and speed buff, which, of course, is very useful because it can speed up your casting. Again, keep in mind, that is information from the Korean version. If they decide to change any of that for the Western version, that will, of course, remain to be seen. Once we actually get to go hands-on with the class, I can, of course, let you know further. But that is kind of top level what we have on this class. Honestly, her abilities just look really cool. Just like the visual spectacle of some of these like epic magical abilities rain down from the sky, sort of emanating from the character. I can't wait to see it. I'm not personally like a magic caster style class, so it's still not personally one that I'm going to play myself. I can definitely see the team playing this. I know 269 is especially excited for the Sorceress, but regardless, I think it's a really cool class. So to kind of recap now, of course, jump back to the blog post. They said that, of course, their version, the Western version of Lost Ark is still going to include 15 classes at launch. 
with additional classes coming to the game in future updates. They said that when working with Smilegate to select the starting class lineup, they considered the following criteria to ensure that their lineup was balanced with a little something for everyone else. They wanted some new and familiar stuff, so they wanted to make sure that, you know, while the game does not contain all 20 plus classes, they wanted to ensure that the content is new and exciting alongside some more favorites for players. So Sorceress, of course, being the newest class, having launched in Korea in August, they wanted to basically have like a combination of things that you could just experience together. They also wanted to make sure they offered a wide range of play styles. So they said it was important to ensure that they included various ranges from, you know, tanky, DPS support, that kind of stuff. Of course, Paladin, Bard, all those kind of different things like that you can include. So they wanted to make sure that they had a basically a wide spectrum of different playstyles and of course factoring in the gender lock classes they of course haven't had a lot of feedback from this and in the korean version of course they are expanding the class pool to the point where you have different gender versions within the same class archetype so you think about say the gunners you have male and female versions and while not every single class currently does have a male and female counterpart they did want to make sure they included a fair amount of those early on to try and sort of give people some choices in their classes but for the time being that is pretty much it so super exciting sorceress the newest class in the korean version is also going to form part of the western launch early next year so as and when we get to see more from this class as and when we get to go hands-on learn i will of course share some more videos with you and of course as and when the game launches we'll have plenty of content for you but for the time being that's it thanks very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to catch more from us don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our latest uploads and if you want somewhere to hang out play games or chat all things from games to anime food to fitness consider joining the rx gaming discord